Hello and welcome to another lecture of image processing using OpenCV and Python. In previous lecture, we saw how to convert the BGR color format into RGB color format. In today's lecture, we are going to see one of the most important conversions in image processing world and that is converting a colored image to its black and white counterpart. So I am creating one Python file here named as color underscore two underscore gray dot pi and you can name it anything of your choice. What we'll do, we'll copy paste the previous code of RGB underscore image here because we are we have to make very very small change here. The first change is obviously the name of the variable in which we are storing the grayscale. So let me name it gray underscore image. Let me name it in the output file also gray underscore image and then OpenCV provide us with a function BGR2 gray. Similarly like BGR2 RGB we have BGR2 gray. Let me write it yes BGR2 gray. Now why we need this conversion because there are many cases like in machine learning and deep learning where we have image data set. Okay, first let's run this. So this is the grayscale image in the right side and the left one is the colored image. Okay, so in, in machine learning and deep learning we have image data sets having thousands and thousands of input data in the form of images. And colored images take more memory, they take more execution time. So what engineers do they convert the colored images to grayscale image to save memory as well as to improve the performance speed and we can verify this using the shape method we already learned about the shape method in previous lectures so let me write the shape of the original image and shape of the gray image gray underscore image dot shape so this shape method what it will do it will give me two outputs the original image having three parameters let's let's run this and see you can see in the bottom there are three parameters width height and the number of channels that is three in case of colored image while in case of black and white there are no three channels so this is one very important thing that's why grayscale conversion is most important now this is method one to convert the black and uh, to convert the colored image into grayscale we have another method also and that is called flag method in which you don't need to write a next line you just need to put one flag at the time of reading the image itself so let me rename this to gray underscore image underscore two and in the here you just need to put zero comma zero after reading your file comma zero so this is the flag and let's print this also gray underscore image underscore two so this method is called flag method of converting your colored image to grayscale. Let me write it here. This is method number two. And let's run this and see. The output should be same. Just like the method one. So this is. This is the grayscale image. And this is the original image. So there are two main methods with which you can convert the colored image to grayscale and I hope you got the application also why you need to convert the grayscale image. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you understand it and like it. We'll meet in the next lecture with some more conversions. Thank you.